Hey all deserves, welcome back to Civ 5 and Civ 5 in Faerun. We're gonna be trying out uh, the Xingyi for a change that's gonna be a little bit of evil, a little bit of undead, you know, something a little out of the ordinary. We're gonna roll on an oval type map, I think, um, mainly because, well, you know, there is a Faerun themed map, but to learn the mechanics, to learn the system before we jump into a place with, you know, start locations that may or may not be functional, I feel like kind of learning the mechanics a bit, and if we have another series of this, if you do enjoy it, uh, we may go on the Faerun scenario. This is a scenario you can load too, which I'm going to explore at a later time. But anyway, let's go evil and collect taxes. Roar. Actually, creepy looking, isn't she? Yeah, the uh, the CG on the uh, the leader images are just a little frightening. Like that's kind of like it's scary, but also nightmare fuely. You know? It's a, ha. Okay, so. Uh, we are here. We are ready. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's go. Uh, we have some new game systems, obviously. We will learn them as they go, because that's just how we do! Alright, so... Um... Lava! That's a grassland? That's a grassland! Yeah, okay! <laughs> we'll go... We'll go with that's a grassland, huh? Alright, uh... Well, let's go with... Probably gonna settle on a hill for obvious reasons. Let's explore a little bit. Ooh, we got ancient ruins! Literally ancient ruins. They look like a creepy obelisk of doom! Which is much cooler than ancient ruins, don't you think? We're gonna land right there. This is desert. Dark desert. I guess we're in a pretty volcanic area. I'm just saying. I'm glad this is grassland that we can make farms on. <laughs> Does that break immersion? I don't know, but it's pretty freaking awesome. Vermin. When worked by a city, two food but minus one health. Interesting. An unfortunate choice, but okay. So, health goes away, takes away from food, and uh, food is how you gain tech. So that's kind of unfortunate, really. And then also low health gives you plagues, which kind of suck. So you want to mitigate that as much as humanly possible. We can mitigate that a little bit because we have minus, you have one uh, health from access to fresh water. However, we do most definitely have vermin around, so that's not so good. We're going to work them for food, so we're basically eating rats right now, which is kind of creepy. I'm going to start with the hero, because the way you gain a religion and an alignment and accruing divine favor, which actually turns out to be more social policies than the actual thing that replaces social policies, um, you get that, ooh, and then we can pick a race. You get that through, um, through meeting a city state and adopting one of the cults, which is like 15 cults, I think, or something. So, um, we can make a human archer, which is basically standard move, standard range, six and four, well balanced, and, um, fight better near the capital. Goblins are a little weaker than humans, but they are, they have an extra movement and can move after attacking, which is huge, which is pretty cool. Undead are resistant to piercing, but vulnerable to bludgeoning, and orcs are stronger, basically not as good as shooting as humans, and your weave is reduced. So I'm actually going to go with the gobos early, because we can actually expand and um, explore, more importantly, much quicker this way. There's a lot of interesting things. So blue caps are food. This is a lux, salt. Any other luxes? Clams are a lux. Opal gems give me culture. And silver is a lux. We have two luxes near us? Wait a minute. One, two, three. Yeah, we can eventually get clams. And we can get silver. And then it looks like our next settlement may be down here to get the salt. Because it's a little out of range of Castle Perilous. Yes, yeah, rock and roll. We got a map. It tells us more ruins. All right, I'll work with that. We got a new spy. I'm going to reserve judgment for now. Ah, Mess Emperor. I want to go there. These are, what are you? Cult of Tear. For an evil line faction, that's a little weird, but all right. If you know anything about uh, the Forgotten Realms divine portfolio, Tyr would be really weird to adopt in a evil undead kind of situation. Learn more spells. I have a feeling I'm going to be building a lot of farms. So uh, divination is cool because I mean divination is not really awesome from like the magic standpoint, but you get plus one food on farms, which is huge early. So I'm going to go Divination, and also the advantage of Divination is it's not conflict with any schools of magic. Other ones, like for example, Evocation blocks off Enchantment and Transmutation, Necromancy blocks off Abjuration and Conjuration, yada 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 yada. So we're going to go a Divination and go immediately to plus one food from farms, and we'll see where to go next. It's kind of, I found it's a pretty safe early bet, 
and also gets us what we need. Fire Lichen. Dude, this shit is badass. I love these new, like, little things. So I'm probably gonna settle here, actually, uh, once I have a settler and a charter, because I can't really build a settler currently. Um, you'll have to apologize. My dog is going bananas, but we need at least four citizens for this. It's gonna take us a little while to get that one rolling, and I have a feeling that Goblin Squeak is gonna get very annoying very quickly. Give me two seconds. My dog is going bananas outside. If you can't hear it, it's probably to your benefit. Sorry about that. And we're back! Okay, so, uh... Onward. Yes, this way. This way. To the other... Hi! The angels are right next to the devils. That's gonna be fun. Stay wild in our fair lands. Oh, aren't you just fabulous in all sorts of ways? You just took my freaking. How do you have a horseman already? You, you douchebag. Alright, whatever. You douchebag! Uh, but the job for the Witch King is gonna be to run down here to mess some per rar rar rar. Rar! And, um, yes, yeah, so we got 30 weave consumed to summon the guy, so we're minus 28 weave. But we gain 4 weave per turn, which is gonna obviously make up for that quickly. We're gonna. Uh, it's gonna be very, very evil sounding very quickly. I have a feeling the sound effects. And it also, when the music kicks in, I downloaded the. Um, oh god, you're right here. Holy hell. Uh, so, hey there, buddy. We're gonna be tight, aren't we? Um, so, like I said, I'm kind of new to these mechanics. We get totally rolled here. I apologize in advance. Uh, we may. That's pretty, pretty fair. We may get rolled. I'm probably gonna get a sawmill here to get more production on the timber and actually get. Production plus one regardless. Uh, no, one gold on timber, production plus one regardless. Uh, let me get a worker for now. It's gonna be important. Yeah, so wizard has joined our civ. I know, I know. He's gonna go down and adopt the cult of tear for now. We may, <laughs> we may switch that out for a positively evil deity shortly afterwards. What are the what are the benefits of tear exactly? Uh, beliefs. The cult of tear. Purchase gallows with divine favor. Yes, it is. It is the god of justice in every sense of the word. So yeah, about that whole gallows thing. Wow, and Omnis here as well. Are we really packed in here? This is a normal size map. What the hell, guys? Why gotta give me so many neighbors? It's crazy talk. No, that's crazy talk, my brother. All right, let's go further over the river and join. Castle Perilous has grown. Yeah, this is why we need to start. Really start. I should have put production focus, idiot. Uh, we really start making farms. We gotta make the food. We gotta make the best use of it. Uh, <laughs> that sound effect's gonna be funny. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. So this is gonna bother you. I apologize, but I can't help it. Every time I select the Witch King, it goes. And yeah, it's awesome. In a badass kind of way. Yeah, there's the Baldur's Gate music rolling. Mess Emperor, what's up? Does that mean I have to make a pilgrimage in order to get the, the cult? Um, let's go here. Hi, Barbarian Goblin Warriors. So these aren't going to be tough. They're just going to be very mobile. I'm going to feel like Lyra Bar should deal with them. Raren Snowstealer. What are you? I don't know what kind of guy that is. Be nice to know. Uh, we're going to explore around and we're going to try to get to population 4 as soon as possible to drop our second city. And that's going to really put a stop to our expansion for a while. Expansion is hard. And it's, you're at three pop already? The hell did you get the extra pop? Must have gotten a pop from the ruins. Dirty bastard. It's gonna probably take the best population situation anyway. All right, we can only adopt evil, unfortunately, but it's good for military, magic, and expansion. I like that. So let's be evil. And you can see the uh, divine favor slash evil mechanic is kind of like policies now. It gives you evil clerics or gives you a chance of bringing elections, more trade routes from other evil civs, one additional hero and he can be an assassin, tithe. You know, all that stuff like this, it's, um, interesting. Like, for example, here, three city charters, which is massive. Which gives you empire, units, crop, hitters, and less gold maintenance. All this stuff is important. You get a unique hero. You know, it's pretty, pretty neat things. They all do little things like that. So really, the faith is what gets you kind of like your policies, or divine favor, rather. I keep saying faith. It's divine favor. We're in Feyrun now. Uh, and everything else, vice versa. So, let's keep rolling down here. We apparently are believers in tier. I guess undead can be just. Just, you know, justice is a little different for them. Did you eat my brother's brain? I'm not sure. We'll find out. Why did that take me? Oh, Marsh takes all of my movement away. Durr. We're gonna go north also to check this out. I have to be a little careful to make sure that these little douchebags don't try to go grab us and murder us. How's Castle Perilous doing? Can you build a farm on this lava? You can. Okay, that makes me happy. Grow a forest. I require nature worship. All right, you know what? Why don't you build a farm and then maybe I won't punch you in the face? Okay. 
All right, we're gonna need some production here, so we don't have a lot. And settlers take 19 turns. Damn. Uh, fair gives us two gold. This gives us food from sea resources. We good once we expand to the clams. Uh, gallows. Yeah, probably not. We buy. Wait, didn't this say we can buy gallows for fate? Thanks to our worship of tear. Hold on. So, like I said, I'm gonna be learning this with you all. So purchase gallows with divine favor. Yeah. So why can't I purchase gallows with divine favor? Probably an interface thing because I'm not using. Uh... Oh, here we go. The gallows with 20 divine favor. Interesting. Hurry, purchase and worker speed 5%. Neat. So worker speed 5%. That's awesome. If you don't work, you're gonna get hung. <laughs> it's fucking horrifying. Maybe tear really does work the way it's kind of. Gone in this game. Minus one health and production. I don't want to reduce my health anymore. Plus one food from the butcher shop will help us grow faster. So I'm going hard on production. Let me hit the sawmill up first. Because I do have uh, lumber here as well. It's not going to hurt. And you're already expanding. I'm getting four weave per turn from my hero. Don't you be expanding like that. I should be expanding faster. Anyway. Taxes! Collecting no taxes. Our people are poor. We're making zero GPT right now, which is the problem. Oh, hi. Barbarian undead zombie. That shit needs to die quickly. Sounds like a job for our hero, the Witch King. Let's get him over there. And with goblin support, of course. Best archers in the world! Sorry, it's a different game. Ah, uh, but you know what I mean. How long until you expand? Five turns. Plus one weave. Oh, only the city journey plus one weave. So the other thing you gotta realize is that the building upgrades here, this is how it works. You have basically multiple trees and multiple levels of buildings. The next level hits at uh, six citizens, and then six citizens all here as well. Um, so really, your citizenry controls your tech, which I think is an interesting choice. I haven't spent enough time with the game to decide whether that's a good or a terrible choice, but it's kind of the way it goes. Arcane Library. Before we can get wizards and start building up our weave, um, our basically called culture, uh, we need to get three citizens. So it's kind of really important. Uh, where are you? You were supposed to tell me, but anyway. Let's just say you need three sibs for this. And it's not going this way. Now the pop-ups are weird. All right, maybe there's a glitch. Maybe no one cares. We need three citizens for that. So we're going to try to get there as fast as possible. Right now we're looking at plus four health and minus four. See, plus four food and minus four health means that we're actually not growing. So we're getting plus four food, but we're actually losing four from health. And we have a very high probability of getting a plague very shortly. Thanks to the vermin. So that's not awesome. That's not a lot of damage on the... Barbarians. Oh, does this count as slashing? It shouldn't count as slashing. It's not bludgeoning, that's for damn sure, but uh, we have hit and run basically on our goblins, which is the whole reason I have the goblins, so we can hit and run Lirabar if need be. So I may just horde archers and go try to kill Lirabar just a little bit. Alright, our Wish King will make short work of these guys. The Arcanist type um, wizard units are like artillery. They need to set up before firing, or Shastam. Can the undead hordes of Thay should so be sold into slavery? Yeah, hey, buddy. Can't quite do this yet, but um, that's at six pop, I think. All right. Anyway, I really could use some extra happiness too. If I'm going to drop the other city. I need um, something. Oh god, there's a death scorpion of doom. Prepare spells. Basically, it's set up more or less. And now we can bombard the crap out of the scorpion. Why can't I just fire like and block my vision? I guess it does. All right, get in here, the Death Scorpion. Block the Death Scorpion and get the hell out of here. It really shouldn't block my vision in this case. No way. Our hero will take care of the Scorpion pretty easily, unless I don't know someone wants to help from Thay. My guess is Thay will. What the hell, Barbarian Vampire? Holy crap, that looks scary. I don't want to hit that. That looks terrible. It looks terrifying. All right. Policies are the, like I said, the magic branch, the weave. We're going to do plus one from farm so we can get, kind of mitigate even more our lack of health right now. Uh, and we're going to move you one more tile because goblins are freaking cowards and we can hit and run with the best of them. You're actually not attacking the scorpions. You're going to let this dude seriously roll me apart. I'm going to let that vampire screw you up then, okay? How about that, huh? How you like them apples, jackass? Yeah, apparently we have trouble shooting over fire. That's good to know. I mean, this fire lichen... Could prove an annoyance if we're trying to actually conquer the area. All right, good. Getting some experience on our hero. Experience on our goblin archers. So we already picked alignment a while ago. These guys just met a city, say, basically. So how are we aligned? Lirabar, I don't think is aligned yet, actually. Let's go spy on people. Can we go to Lirabar and spy on people? I don't know if it's going to give me enough tech 
worth a damn. And if this doesn't give us anything, then we're going to go to Mess and Par and just rig. I'm not quite sure how tech works here. It should technically be even between us, but I'm not sure if that's going to actually happen. All right, so Lyra Bar, I don't think you actually went evil, did you? No, 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 no. I need beliefs, I think, to check if people went evil. Pantheons. Uh, Cult of Tear, no, I don't really care about that. Mm, Kingdom's even al evil aligned. How do we know what people went? I guess we have to read. Unknown leaders adopted neutral. Unknown leaders adopted evil. How Selim shot went good. Unknown is evil. Unknown is neutral. So this guy did not meet his cult center yet to pick an alignment. All right. And he's already at four, so we can kick out a settler already. He's definitely going to beat us to settling. So after we kill this camp, we may have to resign ourselves to moving north. He's likely going to take this spot. This is just too damn good not to take. Look at this. Rothe and uh, Salt plus Mounts. This is just an insanely good spot. So that's going to kind of be unfortunate for us. Because he's going to be able to kick out a settler much faster than us. Shastam went evil. He has to. Um, so he's either going to go good or neutral. It's going to cause some diplomatic friction, obviously. But, you know, whatever. The players announce Um, That's all right. I guess we'll be okay. And like I said, I'm not going to profess to be an expert in this scenario because it's totally new. We can buy a Gallows here, which makes the workers work faster. Or we could wait for... A little more divine favor. Let's see. Would it be worth it to get the gallows? What does it does again? Hurry purge minus five works speed plus five percent. Well, it saves us that, I guess. Let's let's spend the well, what's the next what's the next policy in evil here? Evil cleric. I'm gonna pan the deity for cleric to use their upgrade, that's fine. Chantry and legend of free cities doubled. So this is good, I guess. It gets us rigging faster. And none of these are particularly bad. I don't think I'm gonna have clerics anytime soon, so early on I think it may be worth it to maybe go down this route too. Money would be important, tithing would be huge, so I may go this way. It'll help us in our cash. Let me take the gallows, why not? It'll make my worker work faster. That's neat. Thank you, Tyr. Noble work emboldens the soul. 42 HP and eight at eight defense. These things are tough. Like I've been beating in this with my archer and hero for like ten turns and nothing has happened. Quite remarkable, actually. You went neutral. Okay, so you went neutral. So that's not as far away from us as he could have gone. He could have gone perfectly good. So taxes, no taxes. Can I steal technologies? Okay, yeah. So basically, we're even, obviously. He's going to hit us pretty soon, though. Let's go to Mesempar for now. Let's not waste time. Try to get some rep, if that works anyway, the same it should. And I may go into Butcher Shop or Well. Either one would help us grow. And let me go Well, because it'll reduce the likelihood of plagues a little bit. Plagues suck, like they really do. And things take a long time to build in here. If you can tell, I'm still working on the farm and it's 20 turns in. Um, things take a long time to build in Faerun. Uh, Alright, I guess we have another thing to deal with because she just won't die here. This is open? Plains River, yeah. Let's go open terrain on our goblin. So before we upgrade our Lich King, before we level up, is remember, it's 7 and 10, and when he levels up, that should increase, if I understand the mechanics, at least somewhat correctly. Um, speak with plants. Yeah, we did this already. Speak with animals. Are we going to have pastures anywhere? No. So we probably should commit to a different magic tree. I tried necromancy a little bit, and um, crypts are nice. They can cast raised dead, basically. And the problem is, zombies just kind of suck, honestly. They're not really they're not really good. They're not good at all. This is neat, kind of gives you happiness from, from undead upgrades, but I, I'm not a fan of necromancy, um, as it is. Maybe I was using it wrong. I mean, Horde Wilting is good, Horror is good, and Chill Touch are good. They're all good spells. Kind of feel like being a bit of a Boom Boom Wizard this time, so maybe Evocation or Conjuration would be pretty neat. A Holy Word damages enemies in the target area, particularly demons and undead. Eh. I am, I am an undead, potentially a demon, maybe. Druids may cast summon treants and forest tiles. Yeah, I'm not going to have druids, I don't think. Chain lightning, fireball. See, that's the shit I'm talking about. See the middle of opera houses. Opera houses increase happiness and allow organized train in the cities to cast the sound burst spell. Okay, I like happiness. That may be good. Meteor storm sounds badass. And fire shield. What about conjuration? Mass cure is cool. That might be useful to clerics. What happiness per city would be good. 
Mordenkainen's Mansion, Tamers and Gold, Two Food. I like Conjuration. This is sounding really good. And Teleport. And Acid Fog. Okay, this sounds really good. And Dimension Door. If in case you may die. Holy crap. Okay. And he summons two novice clerics to serve team. Alright, you know what? I think I'm gonna go Conjuration. What does this block off? This blocks off Enchantment and Necromancy. So Enchantment, unfortunately, is stuff that gives us better rep with city states and things of that nature. You know, minor this is kind of like patronage-ish. If I can so I think I really want conjuration. This looks really good. Plus one happiness, Mordenkainen's mansion, and all this other stuff. Give me some conjuration up in here. Alright, I like that. Downside of here is that they're going to have to try to go around me to get my worker, but I should have zone of control. So it should be alright. Let me just dock them up a little bit. And if they come anywhere closer, we'll kill them and we'll restore our faith in our workers. They finished their job already. Dracolich Terror. So, these things come up. They're like hero units you can kill for great treasures. Draco liches are freaking scary. I got one spawning near me at one point. I got absolutely wrecked. By the way, these guys heal every turn. It's taking me so damn long to kill them as well. What can we build here? Can we even build anything on vermin? I don't know. Maybe? Let's see if we can build anything on vermin. Maybe a farm. A vermin infested farm. <laughs> My favorite. We'll get these zombies down yet, though. We will. Just one day. One day! I'm gonna kill you all! Alright. One shot. Bump, 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 bump. Alright. Almost done. Yeah, I like the gabos because they do move pretty well, but I'm not taking good advantage of that. Can you, you can build a camp on the vermin. Give me plus one gold. Yeah, it's a living. How are we working anyway? Yeah, that's fine. I need to build... I need to get a citizenry up. Then I'll work that tile. That's fine. Let's keep growing while we can. Castle Perilous. Yeah, 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 Six turns for a well. We do need to grow badly. We only have two pop here, and that's unacceptable. He'll probably have settled a city already. No, he hasn't settled a city yet. Small wonder, but that's obviously not going to last. Uh, let's go open, because I think this is going to be most useful as open. Hit that, and then you can go shoot it. Ah, nice. And then we can go clear it. Yay, Gabos! Alright, 25 gold is good. We're losing a gold a turn, which we need to stop uh, quickly, but that's what the camp is going to help with. You see, 11 turns for camp. Shit takes a long time to build in this game. Like, really, really does. Pointy of sticks. I am not pointy. He's very pointy. I might get reamed by pointy sticks. Yeah, like I said, this playthrough may not go very well, in all honesty, because I just don't understand the mechanics, some of the balances yet. Like, where the balance of strength... Ah, oh, goddammit, another scorpion. Ugh. My goblins are gonna get wrecked. Level up. Ah, oh, he leveled up. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, he went to 14 and 8. You see that? He was 10 and 7, now he's 14 and 8. This is going to be a lot better at clearing nasty things like scorpions out of our territory. At least not scorpions, they're wolves. Barbarian wolves. Alright, that's okay. The wolves are at the gate. Oh god! He looks dramatic. You shall not pass! Yeah, on a on a bridge with the Gandalf. Yeah, uh-huh. Wizards reign supreme. My is first among them. Have I come to learn from you? I don't know. Can I learn from you? You're still level one, I think. I have no idea. I need higher techs before I can actually get uh, diplomacy, so... With this low health, though, I'm expecting a plague at any moment. That's not good. So food six, health minus five, so we can still grow, but slowly. He's got to hit that four pot, man. That's that's job one. The well is going to help. So the wizards are to the north of us. Now, we are surrounded by people in a kind of an obnoxious way. All right, let's go deal with the wolves. There's a bunch of wolves out here. Start shooting stuff. Paris is now one. Yep. All right. You already fired. That's fine. Let's keep going. Yeah, Baldur's Gate music. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna leave the music on here because it's Baldur's Gate music and it's like a nostalgia trip for me. So hey, you know what? Let me have my Oh, so close. It's so far away. So far away. But we're doing way more damage you can see from our hero. It's good to have our heroes going around beating stuff up. Very, very useful. We are gonna need more happiness before we can actually drop another city, so this silver needs to get improved. Can we buy that tile at any time? 150 with minus two gold per turn. Probably not the best thing. We have cobbled roads. Uh, roads will move minus fifty percent maintenance. For what? Everything? That'd be nice. Um, arcane library. I do want this because I do want more weave, and it unlocks our wizards. Since we did go conjuration, I may want that soon. However, I desperately need cash. What does this improve? This is just production. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need monies. I'm kind of low on monies right now. Allows food routes. 
which is cool, but I need I need trade. Where's this should be trade, right? 10% gold trade warehouse thatcher. 10% uh, more okay, so more production for buildings in okay, yeah. Fisherman's hut, fair, gold plus two. I think we can squeeze this out before we grow. Yeah, likely true. He's helping our health situation a bit too, which is nice. Oh, so goblins, you can kill stuff. All right, let's let's actually kill it with our witch king here. I need him to get more experience because he gets beastly. Uh, Thirty-five, sixty. Though these guys really are moving moving along here. We can set up with lich king for more damage here. That's where the damage is coming from. All right, we're gonna wreck these guys pretty quickly then. Gobbos, you just do what you're doing, man. You just do what you're doing. You be goblins. Be goblins. All right, we're gonna build that up for a little more production as well. Taxes. People are poor. That's so, that's so sad. I have the taxes ability and I have no money. That's why I kind of want to take advantage of it as much as possible. It's not really happening though. Uh, alert and we'll keep dropping. Dropping the camp is the more important thing I think. Then we can deal with the wolves later. Election rigged so we can get a little more rep with Mesempar, which is excellent. Learn more magic. So we went to Conjuration. Plus one happiness per city is nice. That'll help us drop the next city without going negative. Yeah, I may go Mass Cure. Yeah, that might not be bad. And this is going to be good, too, for infrastructure. I'm kind of going infrastructure here because um, I need it right now, and gold will help. Mordenkainen's Mansion sounds like one of the best things ever. All right, we can definitely hit this now. Nice. So the wolves shouldn't kill us. Shouldn't. Being an operative word. Okay, Rothair up there, too. So if we do get settled on down here... Oh, he got settled up there. Okay, so that's okay. I'm alright with that city, actually, because he got Rothe there anyway. Alright, so we're gonna drop down here and probably forward settle on him pretty hard. Likely right there for all this good stuff. The Fire Lichen, the Rothe, the Mounts. Yeah, all this stuff I kind of want. So probably we're gonna do that. Alright, keep blowing up the wolves. I need experience. I don't want the wolves just kind of sitting there not doing much. Great leader. Sure, let's be friends. <laughs> Watch he drop the city right there. But we really need that next pop. Then we're going to build a settler ASAP. Alright, do that. Kill that. Awesome. So our Lich King is growling and being very happy with himself. Raven's Bluff. Uh, do you have a quest? Oh, you have a hero quest. So these things give you, like, rep and things. I'm going to go up to Raven's Bluff and get the hero quest because it's closer. Sometimes they teleport you back to your capital, too. I've had that happen. What's your cult? This is Torm. <laughs> the Mighty Watchman. Alright, the Ceaseless Vigil, the God of Duty. Alright, well then. That could be interesting. Alright, I think the Gobble is back so we have some defense. Oh, we got a trade caravan already. Son of a bitch. Really? I want trade routes. Why do I need to build for trade routes? Commerce is my guess. Let's see. Fair trade warehouse. There we go. That's what I needed. So I am building the right thing. I need money. I may do that for now. Keep him kind of on our good side. Okay, cool. And when can we embark? Oh, he's just buying up all the good stuff, too. When can we actually embark? Do we learn that from naval? Is it warfare? I think maybe warfare. Provision warehouse, shipmaker, produces two timber. Interesting. Okay. Uh, ship, shipmaker. Yeah, I'm not sure when... I'm not sure when we actually upgrade, um, but, okay, see, so yeah, this is six citizens right here, that's how it unlocks the pop, alright, fine, because so right now we can't, uh, not, no interest right now, but I would totally pay you to go to war with him if I had something to pay you with, my workers work so freaking slowly that, uh, it's unlikely I'll have that anytime soon, Gabos, get over here. As long as we keep relatively decent relations, we'll be all right. I do need to drop that city, though. I'm not worried about him overexpanding again, though, because, like I said, charters are hard to come by. And unless he gets really lucky, he's going to have a hard time getting charters. But what I'm gonna, probably going to do is go archery. I'm going to probably double up on archery. So where's archery? Uh, combat. Warfare. So archery. And we can't... Oh, we can't get better archery until we go to six pop, right? There's no way to build that up. Yeah. All right, fine. So we may go archery and then go into, um, what's bows plus one? Oh, this is giving me bows plus one. All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to build the archery range two to make that happen. Okay, that's fine. 
Get it? It's plus one. It's just like D&D, &D, totally, right? Except it's Civ. Fair is done. We're one turn from growing. I'm going to put a turn into probably a butcher shop so we can keep growing to six pop and kickstart the tech. Probably wouldn't mind the arcane library, though, so we have some wizards. Um, but I feel like I'm going to be relying more on my archers than anything else because we'll have hit and run on these cities. 11 strength is not very strong. And provided we just don't get wrecked up close, we'll be all right. Need to build a little bit of military. Uh, so maybe start on the archery range, honestly. Let's start on the archery range. Or, yeah, I've got old interface. Why? Yeah, let's go butcher shop first. I need the food. I need the food. Then we'll probably do trade routes or something. I need the money as well. All right, let's go up here. Do you actually have that much of a military? I don't know if it's that big. I think you're just talking about it. All right, let's go up here and make some more production. Get these things up quicker. So the infrastructure is so important that I'm just not really getting there right now. When's your next upgrade? Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, so four food minus one health. So our health is rapidly improved here, which is nice. Plus one food is gonna help us grow better, which is good. And yeah, let's just work that. Let's work that. What does this give me? It's gonna be plus two production. So I'm working it anyway, let's just do that. And let's just see what he's up to. Doesn't really have much in a city save rare and snow stealer. But again, as long as I can do hit and run with my goblins, provided they do more than one damage to the city at a time, it could be a very bad strategy. Okay, denounce um they and an unmet player. These guys are douchebags. Wow. Why are you being so angry? Aren't you angelic and stuff? Seriously, man. That's not cool. Why gotta be like that? Oh, I could totally steal this and go to war. I wouldn't mind another worker either. I'm getting science, science per turn. Dude, there is no science in this game. Stop it. What? Oh god, I didn't mean to... Did I agree to that? Oh shit. And me without... <laughs> and me without my hero. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. He may not though. I mean, he may not crush me, which is not saying much. I'm gonna get my goblin archer back to my capital. And you... You're supposed to give me a quest. I have to get... Oh, I can't even get there now. Crap. Alright, now I gotta get my hero back. That's unfortunate. I did not mean to declare war. I really did not mean to declare war right there. That was not smart. But at least I have another worker, right? 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 You're right, Kamen. Um, why are you doing this? I want to go to your, your quest, goddammit. All right, what do we get? One gold! Woo! <laughs> We're improving our tax yield. All right. Um, let's go in here and defend ourselves because this is going to get messy before it gets better that hero comes up i'm gonna have trouble i think as soon as my witch king gets back it'll be okay outbreak oh shit now what i wanted to see oh wait it's not us distant lands okay good i'm glad it's not us our health is actually pretty high it's better than i had in my first game so after the butcher shop let's go settler um i should have been doing that beforehand honestly but it doesn't cost me any maintenance for the butcher shop so whatever we can get mounts here too which will be nice 15 turn for mounts. God damn, man. Let's improve the tiles so we can actually work. Yeah. My brain can't be discovered, but I'm kind of at war with these guys, so who are you pantheoning? You are pantheoning... I don't know what the hell that is at all. Imniscars. This is um. so they she, she forward settled on them pretty hard. Um, alright. Looks like we're doing okay. Our mobility is helping us a lot here to know what's coming in. Are we done? Nah, he... Wait. I think I'm not going to get out of a war anytime soon. I can't really get to there for the quest. I'm going to have to go down here for the quest, which is a little dangerous, given I'm at war currently. Very well. I didn't mean to go to war. I guess I should be going to war. My better instincts as an undead maniac um, preceded me, but, you know, the way it goes, I guess. We can test my goblin's hit and run ability. We can just get the goblin over across the river and start bombarding Sarsha a little bit. Major warmonger penalty. I guess there's only two cities around, so it kind of makes sense. See anything here? You don't see anything there. Okay, cool. Good. Witch King, get over here and we we'll start wrecking face if something comes up. So now I feel like okay about my chance of surviving this game. A little bit better. Mechanics are weird, though. Like I said, mechanics are very weird. One move, one shot, and move out. So six damage is not a lot. I'd need a lot of gobos to make that worth my while. All right. 
So Mass Cure or Mordenkainen's Mansion, I think that's worth it. So that's more gold and more food in the capital. But the problem is I still don't have a good way to get happiness. It's gonna be a problem in the long run. I may have to actually build something else after my settler. I don't mind the divine favor, that'd be nice, but... Might have to go circus for now. Plus one happiness, that's it? There's something better for that. Pub. Circus is free, though. I think that'll be more worthwhile. Have to, might, go, might have to go circus next. Let me find some way to make this work. So I haven't got any Luxes expanded to yet, which is problematic, obviously. I know. Let's get a free worker out of that war declaration, so yeah. This is going to be a little fun, but at least it'll be good experience for our gobblers, right? Um, anyone want to mess with my Lich King? No? Nobody? Really? No? That's a shame. I want to mess with you a little. 14 range attack is pretty good. That's even to cities right now. These goblins are going to be the most veteran goblins ever. So evil. That's not bad. Evil clerics and plus one gold from pantheons. And we get... Okay, that's fine. An empire gets us there. Trades for evil. Slavery. Huh. Or an, an, another hero, which is an assassin. Kind of wouldn't mind another hero, honestly. Because my units are not going to be awesome. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind a little bit of assassination work. Chance of, and chance of rigging here, which is nice, right? Because that'll give us more rep in the Mess Emperor, which is good. So I may go down that route, kind of eschewing the the kind of Empire. Unless Evil Pantheon Cleric upgrades, though. I don't know. Evil Pantheon sound pretty cool. Uh, let's go. Let's try that way and get another hero. I feel like that's going to be important. Let's do it that way. Hey, we're actually making progress in Sarshal. Feel me. Um, dude, I guess no, we're not. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. We're actually not doing much. Are you done yet? I'm not tired of battle. I'm actually hitting running your city like, whoa. Hey, is that another worker I can steal? That's pretty cool. So he's got to move closer for me to do that. Move out. Please move this worker like right here like an idiot. Okay, now he ran to Sarshal. Damn. It was a good try. It was a good try. I tried. It's, you know, it's a work in progress here. Hit and run, baby. Just like the Mongols. Except we're not getting anywhere. The goblins are so flimsy, they're actually not doing anything. So where are all his units at? He's at level 6. He's at next tier. Only respect my rule. Yeah, okay. Listen, Chode, or Chondath, sorry. Um, that's a little problematic. Okay, so he's at level 6 already, which is the next tech tier. That's not cool. So I'm a little behind. Most well-fed people. I'm not well-fed now because I'm building a settler, understandably, but... What is this? Anti-flying. Okay, cover, barrage, or more damage. I just need more damage right now. Anti-flying is interesting, though. That's obviously not doing much when it's... <laughs> Alright, Galaparis wants gems and one gold in taxes. Alright, let's keep rolling here. Um, let's go to here to get more production. Still nothing to shoot at with the Witch King, so we'll alert him for now feel like the strategy would be good, I think, provided I had enough goblin units. I can just hit and run Sarge like crazy and then run something in for fun and profit. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be a good strat. I may go after him shortly. He's at Embassy. I'm not there yet, man. I'm not there. They have all their Luxes up, too. That's a little bit of a problem as well. I don't have anything up yet, Lux-wise. Oh, there's something to shoot, at least. That's good, I guess. Almost got the settler. Almost got the settler. Things build for a long time in this particular scenario. I want my other city, damn it. <laughs> and I want it now. I go here, shoot that, and come back. That ran away. Poopy pants. Temper of Shothgarot. That's a evil wonder. That's interesting. All right. So we have a settler. Thankfully. Finally, mercifully, we have a settler. 12 turns for pasture. God damn, it's ridiculous the build times in this. Um, I'm really hoping we're expanding to our Luxes. We're not. We're expanding to our Opal Gems. And I can't even buy this tile because it's 150. So things are looking a little harsh for us right now, but I have a feeling things will look up shortly. Um, I think I'm going to call it there for the first episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Feyrun uh, mod in Civ 5. I have been Urs, and I will see you all next time. Till then.